I'd like to welcome you to this program in mindfulness meditation. You might have heard the term mindfulness revolution. It's been used to describe the profound transformations that occur through training our attention in mindfulness. In teaching, I've seen over and over how the simple practices of present-centered awareness have the power to decrease stress and bring mental clarity, to open our heart. These practices affect us as individuals and I believe hold promise for the healing of our world. Now part of what's fueled this mindfulness revolution is science. Over two decades of research has demonstrated the benefits of mindfulness in working with physical pain, reducing anxiety, reducing depression, improving performance and memory. But what is directly fueling this revolution are people like you and me who want to tap our full potential, to love well, to live fully, to be of help to others. For many of us, perhaps the immediate draw to meditation may come out of an experience of difficulty. We might find that we're so stressed we're not really able to enjoy or savor our life, to connect with the people around us. Often we've become stuck in over-consuming or caught up in judgment. We might spend a lot of our moments worrying or planning, and for many, in being overly busy. I've always found it interesting that the word busy in the Chinese script has a meaning much like heart-killing. And we know what it's like when we're speeding around trying to check things off our to-do list, our hearts are not so open or tender. So our busyness, our preoccupations, take us away from our natural wisdom and from our heart. And perhaps the biggest way this shows up is we don't feel close with other people and we don't feel at home with ourselves. There's an understanding that our sickness, our real sickness, is homesickness that we suffer when we're disconnected from our own bodies and hearts, from each other, from this living earth. In mindfulness training, we're learning to pay attention, on purpose and without judgment, to our moment-to-moment experience. A mindful awareness is an awake and open mind. And it's useful to know that mindfulness and heartfulness are really interdependent. In Asia, in fact, the words heart and mind are the same. We're awakening an open and clear mind and an open and clear heart. Mindfulness and the related heart practices we'll explore will allow us to slow down, will allow us to come home to the moment, to our living world. I like to think of it that they help create a clearing in the density of our lives. They help us find an inner sanctuary of loving presence. In this training, your attitude is key. You're learning to make friends with your mind. You're learning to relate to your experience with friendliness and interest. And you might consider for a moment what it really means to be friendly what a friendship really is, the qualities of not judging, being patient, offering our time, our attention. I think of a kind of sincerity where we really want to connect with each other. And this is really what we begin to offer our own inner life, this sincerity of care and presence. The poet Rumi says, do you make regular visits to yourself? Mindfulness, this practice of homecoming, is a way of visiting our inner life and befriending it. And what we find is it then extends to all life. As one of the great Zen masters put it, we become intimate with all things. As you move through this program, you'll probably find that some meditations directly fit your needs, your temperament, and others might feel more difficult, less well-matched in the moment. Some meditations might feel particularly appropriate when you're in certain moods, others when you're in other moods. 
So I'd like to encourage you to explore these meditations with curiosity and listen to your own sense of what most calls you. You'll find that some meditations you'll revisit at a future time and it's at that moment that they'll really connect. It's helpful to remember that we all have the innate capacity for mindfulness and heartfulness and that these trainings, these meditations, each in their own way, are designed to awaken this capacity, to bring it alive. The basic practice of mindfulness is something you can do by just practicing for a short time each day. And our first meditation, what I call a pause for presence, is just this. It's short, and yet I found that even these few minutes of arriving can profoundly refresh our experience. A natural entry into presence is through your body and senses. You can do this short meditation at any time that you have a bit of quiet and privacy. Find a place to sit comfortably and then just close your eyes. You might start by simply connecting with your intention to come home to presence. And let your attitude be friendly, relaxed, curious. Begin by taking three conscious breaths. Let the inhale be long and deep, filling the lungs. And then exhale slowly, sensing a letting go of any tension in your body or mind. Again, inhaling deeply, filling the lungs. And a slow, conscious exhale, letting go, letting go. Once more, nice full in-breath, holding the breath for a moment once you're full, just feel the holding, the stretch of the chest, and then a gentle out-breath, letting go, letting go. And then letting the breath resume its natural rhythm. And invite your awareness into your body by gently scanning, noticing any places of tension, of tightness. See if it's possible to bring a soft attention to those areas of holding. See if you can just allow them to relax and open naturally. It's helpful to relax the face consciously, to soften the eyes. Let the jaw be easy, slightly open. And you might feel what's called the half-smile of the Buddha at the lips. You might even feel the inside of the mouth smiling a bit. Letting the scan continue down, pay particular attention to the shoulders. See if you can feel them from the inside out. You might sense a kind of dissolving, ice to water, a melting. And then water to gas. Letting go. Feeling the arms from the inside out, sensing the volume, the space inside the arms, the aliveness there. And then soften your hands, letting them rest in an easy and effortless way. Soften and feel them from the inside out. The tingling, the vibrating. Sitting in a way that your chest can be open, that your belly can be relaxed softening the belly, letting this next breath be received in a softening belly. This breath, and then this one, 
and again. Continuing to scan down the body, feeling the hips, the buttocks, the legs. Just relaxing any muscles that are tight. Feeling down into the feet so that you feel the feet from the inside out. Feeling the aliveness there, tingling, vibrating. Now invite your awareness to fill your whole body. Can you imagine your physical form as a field of sensations? Can you feel the movement and quality of sensations? Tingling, vibrating, heat or cool, hard or soft, tight or flowing. Just take a few moments to bring your full attention to the dance of sensations. Now let your awareness open out into the space around you. Can you imagine receiving the symphony of sound, letting sounds wash through you? Can you listen to the changing play of sounds, not just with your ears, but with your whole awareness? Take a few moments to bring an open attention, a receptivity to listening to sounds. Keeping your eyes closed, let your awareness also receive the play of image and light At the eyelids, you might notice a flickering of light and dark or certain shapes, shadows, or figures of light. Take a few moments to attend to seeing. feeling your breath and sensing the space around you, be receptive to any sense that might be in the air. Discover what it is like to smell and receive the odors present in the surrounding area. Now let all your senses be wide open, your body and mind relaxed and receptive. Allow life to flow freely through you. Wide open, listening to and feeling your moment-to-moment experience. Notice the changing flow of sounds, sensations, aliveness, and also the background of presence that is here. Let yourself appreciate this awake inner space of presence.
Can you imagine as you complete this meditation bringing an alert, open awareness to whatever you're doing next? <laughs> 